Yo, this is it on the play, Super Metroid. We are here in Norfair, the depths of hell, should we say, even, because it's kind of warm in here. But before we're gonna continue, let's get ourselves some more missiles. Look here. Let's drop some more. There we go. We have a red waiver here. Just pass by it, and you'll see a missile drop right here. Let's just go to it, like this. More missiles. Always nice to have because you never know those pink doors can be everywhere. Besides, missiles are stronger than our usual, you know, blasters, so let's just get it up. And we're gonna go up here. Let's shoot our way up. And now we're gonna try to move on here. Let's just blast these two. And we drop down here. That's another one. Now be careful here. There's an enemy in nearby. You'll probably see it just below us. Doesn't seem to be nearby. There we go, we killed it. We can move on. Just bump your way through. Oh, there's another one. That was too bad. Oh well. And another one here too. Let's just kill it off. Aha! The uh, power bomb symbol uh, appears again, so we can't really go through it. Let's just uh, go another way. Let's try to go to the left first. Let's see. Just be another exit. What can we do? Go down here. Whoa! Enemies! Whoa, a lot of enemies! That one doesn't really look nice. Let's just try to go past it. Just recover some uh, more ammunition. This is kind of a nice way for you to recover some energy and recover uh, ammunition if you need to. Okay, so we can exit from the down below, but maybe we can go for something from here. Is there anything in this place, though? Aha. Ah, this one is the speed booster symbol, which means we can't bypass here until we have the speed booster. That's fine. Let's just uh, continue from where we came. So we can't really proceed from this place. That means we have to go down. Let's do that. This is like iffy. Like this purple, green, iffy stuff. Hmm, I wonder what it is. We have a place we can go to the right here. Ah, it's these ones again. So again, if you need ammunition or, uh, or energy, just uh, kill this off and you'll be full up. Let's see, what's on the bottom here though? Nothing? Okay, we can just go through here, I guess. Aha! Lava, magma, and fire. Oh, damn. Some lava monsters. I like to fire this. Oh, damn. They really hurt. Nice, so we can go through to the next room. What's in here, though? Just kill that dome off. Something else on the bottom here, maybe? One of these kind of like a bolts. And here we have a yellow door, which means a power bomb. We cannot open it yet. So we probably have to go back here later once we have the power bomb. So we can proceed down here as well, down in the depths of Norfair. This place is just really all about heat, lava, fire, everything. Good thing for the various suit, though, at least. <laughs> Whoa. This place is rising up in fire. Okay, let's try to go. We can go through here, that's nice. Let's just try to proceed. Try not to be hit by these uh, things here. Like that. We can move on to the next room. Okay, this place seems to be fine. Let's try to go on. Oh, damn it. I just missed. The thing is that we need to be in a ball for this one because, as you can probably can see, um, these things are too badly uh, placed, so we can't really go through it with the normal form. Don't get pushed down here as well. As well. I recommend again to go down in your uh, ball form and step onto this one when it comes. Then you just jump up from it and you can proceed to the next room. What are these enemies now? What the hell? Is that like some seahorse thing? At least we gave some energy back. 
What's inside here, though? Hmm. Place where maybe we can jump up from. Some spikes. We have these things again, like we had in Criteria. You know, the thing we blow up when we went to Brinstar the first time. And we have some stuff here, too. Aha! Uh -huh. There's some room here with a pink door, but we can't get through it yet. Maybe we can maybe proceed jumping over here? No, we don't have the speed booster, so... Let's see... Maybe there's a way we can get up to... What if we... Ah, uh, I don't know, not really good at it. Basically, the same thing called wall jumping. We only need to have some time jumps. I'm really the best at wall jumping either, so... I think I'm too high up. Let's try again. We do time it, basically. I think we are too high up. Maybe if we can go from this place? Nah, it's too bad from this place either. Now we can't get up here. Basically, there's a way we can proceed up here if we are um, wall jumping, that I've learned. But apparently, I'm a bit struggling doing this. Nah. Okay, let's just uh, not try it. Okay. Basically, there's a way we can get up there later, anyways. Let's just proceed. Got one of these uh, seahorse things. Now, ah, here's the room. Let's blow up. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go inside. Close. Missile! Nice! Press the uh, A button to launch, of course, select it, and we can power up. Okay, now we're stuck here. That is because, in order to proceed here, we need to get the grappling hook. As you probably see from the marks above us, which you can see up there. So we can't really proceed anyways through here. That's, uh, that's just uh, unfortunate, but nothing much we can do about it. Because if we try to jump, we'll land on the spikes, and then we're going to just kill ourselves. So that's not really good. Let's just jump down, and let's just proceed for now. Maybe we can try without the grappling hook, but first we need to get the speed booster. Maybe we can do it without, but I'm just going to try it with it. Let's just get this one as well, we can proceed. Now just going to keep on walking upwards. Kill it enough. Another one! Damn it. There we go. And now we can move on to some more green, iffy place. Ah, we're here again. Now we're in the big room. All these freaking enemies again. Let's just kill them off. There we go. Another grappling hook. We can't go to the other side yet. Let's just proceed here. This is a green door. We know what that means. Super missile. And we can proceed again. Ah. I think this is like a dead end, but look at the minimap. It says there's just something on the top here. Let's see what this can mean. It means that we can proceed up there from somewhere. Aha! Knew it. There we go. There's some enemies in here. Oh, there we go. Damn it. There we go. Something else in here, maybe? Not kill the enemies if you need some uh, energy. We'll be fine now. Let's just move on. Oh, damn. I guess I need to run a bit. Let's try to do that instead. Let's go in again and let's instead try to run instead of just walking. So I have the run button and just run! Run, 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 run. We have another room with missiles. Let's see what this place will mean for us. Ooh. There's an item here. What can it be? Oh, that shape we've seen before. That means we're gonna get the speed booster. 
Now our running speed while holding on the X button is not going to improve dramatically. There's just a little uh, catch about getting this item, and that is that... This place is erupting! Run! So hold on the X button and run! Look at the power of the speed! Look now! Oh, wow! Oh boy. Oh well. I guess that was the it of this place. I guess there's no way to come back here because of the lava. But at least now we got ourselves this super awesome speed booster. Now we can run really quickly. At least when we're charging up the X button. Which is going to be very critical to us for proceeding now. Remember, for example, where we had the first room in the beginning of Norfair? We couldn't proceed because we went fast enough? Well, that might change now. So if you want to do that, you can just go over here now and backtrack. Back to the entrance of Norfair. So we can proceed. But I want to go try to go to the room where we're in the past. Let's go through this uh, seahorse things. If not. Now, there's a way we can basically try to get the... Um Actually no, I'm not going to try it. I'm going to wait for the grappling hook. I was just trying to think about this. A way you can actually wave jump and use the uh, space booster or a speed speed booster to get the um, kind of upgrade that you would get in the end there. But I'm not going to wait that for the grappling hook. Grappling is not that far away either. I think it's one of our next major upgrades. So I'm just going to go back there later. I'm not really the best Metroid player either. So um, I'm not going to try to do this fancy stuff. Sorry guys. We will do more Metro games later though. I mean, already done Fusion and Zero Mission. You see that there was a green door there up there. We can't reach it because we don't have the grappling hook. So we're just gonna try it later. Alright. Now we can backtrack, but before we do that, there's another way we can actually backtrack. Remember the place we were on the bottom here when we had the door or the place with the speed booster signs? Yeah. Let's go that place now. Let's kill those enemies so we don't get hit again like we did last time. Let's go inside here. So we'll be back in the room where we were before. Now I'm just gonna go straight forward because we can't proceed from the bottom left anyways. Once you're in here, then hold the X button and charge forth! Boom 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 boom! And look where we are guys! We are back at the entrance of Norfair. Yeah! Look where we are. We are here. Very, very nice. See the green, the yellow door is still here, so we can't proceed here. But how are we even going to get forward though? Well, here we have the uh, top entrance to back to Brinstar. We can't really go there right now because there's no way we can continue from Brinstar. But instead we can go here. Back to this room again. Remember we tried to run here before, but we weren't quick enough? Well, once again, get ready, hold the run button, and charge! Aha! So we can't proceed from bottom here because we need the power bomb. That's kind of sad because then there's a big room below beneath us, but oh, that's fine. There's another way we can get there, though. Let's just go through this door so we can proceed. Aha. Uh -huh. Whoa. That was a bit quick. Oops. Let's just go. That's fine. No big deal. Ah, uh, these ones again. Annoying enemies. Keep shooting at us. Oh, oh damn. I just ate that fireball in my face. Oh well. Let's see what's inside this place, though. Hmm. That's not where we're gonna go, I think. Aha. Let's try to go into the middle there. Watch out for the enemies. Let them pass. When you're done, try to go through again. There we go. Aha! Secret door! And this secret door has a very nice item. Say hello to another beam upgrade. Introducing the Ice Beam. Yes, this is gonna help us progress a lot. Enemies will now be frozen when you hit them, at the least if you hit them a few times. 
This means they will not be able to do damage to you, they will not be able to move, and you can use them as obstacles. This is a really, really nice upgrade. Not really much to do here, I think. I don't think there's any place for this room. Let's just gotta double check. Always oh, like double check, you never know if there's something special. Alright, the ice beam. Check now. Yeah, check that out. They are frozen. And these must obstacles. Of course, they will unfreeze after time. So be careful about that. Awesome. Well, let's move on. Also freeze these ones as well. You can't kill them. But you can basically permanently freeze them. So they will never be in any trouble for you. Just uh, move on. They will unfreeze, that's fine. Now we're back in this room again. Now, how are we going to proceed here though? It's kind of simple. See how they jump? They jump always the same. So, aim. And fire. Move on. Move and fire. Check this on. Like, boom! Remember these ones we've seen before? Well, if you do this... Oh, that was not really what I wanted to. Okay, we can just do it the other way too. Okay, well, I guess there's always a another plan. And now we're just falling down. Oh, boy, look where we are. So now we can proceed again. Now this is awesome because remember where we were in Brinstar, where we had these um, red waivers that was like uh, we couldn't go up them because they were just on the right Brinstar. Well. We can do something about it now, because now we can freeze enemies, we can jump on them, and we can move on. We can proceed more north now, because we need the power bombs, so let's just go back to Brinstar. That's a nice progression, though. We got ourselves the speed booster and the ice beam in this episode. That's really nice. So this episode is going to be over. Next episode, we're going to get see if we can find ourselves some power bombs, because we need to get them in order to proceed in Norfair. So, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch, Facebook, and Twitter. And that's going to be it for now, so I'll see you guys next time as my story of Super Metroid continues.